and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this. Let's take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that. And hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 31 He heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, from that which was our father's, and has he gotten all this wealth? Jacob saw the expression on Laban's face. Behold, it was not toward him as before. Yahweh said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers, and to your relatives, and I will be with you. Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field to his flock, and said to them, I see the expression on your father's face, that is not towards me as before. The God of my father has been with me. You know that I have served your father with all of my strength. Your father has deceived me, and changed my wages ten times, but God didn't allow him to hurt me. If he said this, the speckle would be your wages, and all the flock all speckled. If he said this, the street would be your wages, and all the flock all street. Thus God has taken away your father's livestock, and given them to me. During mating season I lifted up my eyes. I saw in a dream, and behold, the male goats which leaped on the flock were streaked, speckled, and grizzled. The angel of God said to me in a dream, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. He said, I lift up your eyes, and behold, all the male goats who leap on the flock are streaked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Leban does to you. I am the God of Bethel. Were you anointed a pillar? Were you vowed a vow to me? No eyes. Get out from this land and return to the land of your birth. Rachel and Leah answered them, Is there yet any portion or inheritance afforded in our father's house? Aren't we accounted by him as foreigners? He has sold us, and has also quite devoured our money. All the riches which God has taken away from our father. That is ours and our children's. Now then, whatever God has said to you, do. Then Jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives on the camels, and took away all his livestock and all the possessions which he had covered, including the livestock which he had gained in Padan Aram, to go to Isaac his father, to the land of Canaan. Now the band had gone to share his sheep. And Rachel stole the idols that were her father's. Jacob deceived Laban the Syrian, in that he didn't tell him as he was running away. So he fled with all that he had. He rose up, passed over the river, and set his face toward the mountain of Gilead. Laban was told on the third day that Jacob had fled, and took his relatives with him. He pursued him seven days' journey. He overtook him in the mountain of Gilead. God came to the band of Syrian in the dream of the night and said to him, Be careful that you don't speak to Jacob, either good or bad. The band caught up with Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountain. The band with his relatives had camped in the mountain of Gilead. The band said to Jacob, What have you done that you have deceived me and carried away my daughters like captives on the sword? Why did you flee secretly? Deceived me and didn't tell me that I might have sent you away with birth and with songs, with tambourine and with harp, and didn't allow me to kiss my sons and my daughters. 
Now you have been foolish. It is in the palm of my hand to hurt you. But the God of your father spoke to me last night, saying, Be careful that you don't speak to Jacob, either good or bad. Now you want to be gone, because you greatly long for your father's house. What have you still of my gods? Jacob answered to the battle, Because I was afraid, if I said, at least you should take your daughters from me by force. Anyone you find your gods with shall not live. Before our relatives discern what is yours with me and take it. But Jacob didn't know that Rachel had stolen them. The band went into Jacob's tent, into Leah's tent, and into the tent of the two female servants. He didn't find them. He went over Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the idols put them in the camels and saddle and sat on them. The band fled around the entire tent, but they didn't find him. She said to her father, Don't let my lord be angry, that I can't rise up before you, for I am having my period. He searched, and didn't find the idols. Jacob was angry, and argued with Laban. Jacob answered Laban, How have I wronged you? that you have hotly pursued me. Now that you have felt around in all my stuff, what have you found of all your household stuff? Set it here before my relatives and your relatives that they may judge between us two. These 24 years I have been with you. Your ewes and your female goats have not cast their young, and I have eaten the rams of your flocks. That which was torn of animals, I didn't bring to you. I bore its loss. Of my hand you required it. Whether stolen by day or stolen by night, this was my situation. In the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep fled from my eyes. These twenty years I have been in your house. I served you fourteen years for your two daughters, and six years for your flock, and you have changed my wages ten times. Unless the God of my father, the God of Abraham, the fear of Isaac has been with me, surely now you would have sent me away empty. You could have seen my affliction and the labour of my hands and rebuked you last night. The man answered Jacob, the daughters are my daughters, the children are my children, the flocks are my flocks, and all that you see is mine. And what can I do today to these my daughters or to their children whom they have born? Now come. Let us make a contract, you and I, and let it be for a witness between me and you. Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. Jacob said to his relatives, Gather stones. They took stones and made a heap. They ate there by the heap. The man called it Jergar, Zahadapha. And Jacob called it Galead. The man said, This heap is witness between me and you today. Therefore, his name was Galead and Mizpah. For he said, you are my watch between me and you. When we are absent one from another, if you afflict my daughters, or if you take wives besides my daughters, no man is with us. Behold, God is witness between me and you. The man said to Jacob, See the seat, and see the pillar, which I have set between me and you. May the seat and the pillar be a witness, that I will not pass over the seat to you, that you will not pass over the seat and this pillar, to me for harm. The God of Abraham, the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge between us. And Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. Jacob offered a sacrifice on the mountain and called his relatives to eat bread. They ate bread and stayed all night on the mountain. Early in the morning, Laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. Laban departed and returned to his place.